and then maybe Hello? Mystic Arts. Hi. Hey, what's up? Are you? On- oh, okay. I thought you were on a call or something. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so probably Kagura. Here's from- the kickback. What? <laughs> wait, wait, which kickback? He's not on the phone, you guys. Oh, no, I'm just asking. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I'm, I'm right. really confused right now. He's on the telephone. Okay. Yeah. So let's just go to the other one then. All right, for sure. I'm, I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck in this uh, video thing. So I'm gonna oh, like. I'll let you. Yeah, dude. It started late, so we're getting done late. Honestly, like, I may dip out early in the video. Wait, he makes it <laughs> Jesus because it's I literally took off my headset picked up this phone and is talking and they're still talking oh god we can he hear you What's going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro, and today I am joined with Matt from Team Divine Pro. What's up, guys? And also, as a special guest, we have Agent from Team No Guard. What's up, guys? Remember that SPs are sexy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you don't already know, this guy is an SP whore. Like, honestly, he just loves oh. his SPs. Uh, for those of you watching recently, I just finished SPing out Revengers about a week ago. So, four SP Raging Forms, four SP BDRs. Very nice. Cash cow. Cash cow. Honestly. Yeah. Ridiculous. He has so much money. Like, I don't even know how you do it. Oh, my. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, go uh, ahead. I was... continue. Well, I get them for a cheap price, basically. They're, like... Oh. I, I can get stuff from the States for a cheaper price because the prices are really, really different down there. So oh, here, okay. like, an SP yeah. Raging 4 might be, what, 65 70 Yeah. And in yeah, the States... Like, is the hookup. Yeah, and states is like fifty dollars, so I just get it from there. They're not even real cards; they're made in China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, guys, we also have Scruffy Pillows that's supposed to be coming on with us, aka Scruffy, but uh, he's uh, might join in a little bit later. I guess I'm not sure. I'll try seeing what happens. But anyways, let's start off with just us three, I guess. So is that cool with you guys? It's fine yeah. with me. It's fine with you. Okay, so um, I guess we'll start off with the guest right now. So, Agent, what have you been playing with recently? I don't know, card-wise, just to start off episode number two. So, card-wise, like card game-wise or just deck-wise right now? Uh, you can go with card card game-wise entirely because Card Taku is uh, pretty much for all card games. We just talked about Vanguard in our first one because it was for Domino Paris 21. Shout out to him for the spotlight video. Yeah. Okay, so uh, card games, I do, I, play, I do play Yu-Gi-Oh!, so Yu-Gi-Oh! Vanguard, I'm getting into Weiss. I just built a Vocalite deck with Miku, and when uh, tomorrow with Basil, I'm splitting a box of set three for Body Fight. So, trying to manage four card games, but I mainly play Vanguard. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Weiss and Body Fight are kind of on the side. Yu-Gi-Oh! is... The markets, the, the prices there fluctuate way too much, so it's even hard That's to... That's Guardian! I know! Oh man, this band list is kind of oh. screwy. <laughs> I, 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 the band list is fine. I mean, I played Mermail, I thought they were going to get hit, but then Hat took over and Lightsworns came out, so now we have Lightsworn Rulers in the format, and those kind of took the spotlight away from Mermails, which I'm happy with because I didn't get hit, so I can still play them. Hat but is overrated. Sorry. Hat, it's. I mean, it's a consistent deck. It took people by surprise at, a, what, at Philly, right? Yeah, yeah that's, when, like that's the first YCS that it was released yeah. after Primal Origin. Yeah, when Trap Hole Nightmare shot up in value. It's sort of an autopilot deck. There really is no thinking involved with that deck. Yes, it was it was in, innovative when it was first made, yeah. but other than that, it's it's just an overrated deck. Uh, I mean, the deck isn't that bad. It's consistent. It has outs to everything, which is always good. But if you have outs to almost everything, that doesn't mean the deck is an autopilot. I mean, sorry, that doesn't mean the deck is autopilot. It just means that you have to kind of think less for the outs because you already have outs to most things. Okay, so let me ask you guys right now. Do you think that autopilots are good for, like, the meta? Like, you know how, like, Cookie Cutter... Like, I know in Vanguard, they have... the Pretty much only things that are winning right now are Thing Saver, Thing Saver, whichever one you want to call it, yeah. and then Mega Flare. Yeah. And then for, like, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's, like, 
you have the anti-meta hat deck and then like the occasional other like one two deck like light or something. You guys play Vanguard like English meta, right? Or no? I I, I understand English. Okay, because I mainly play English meta, but I do keep up with Japanese meta to see what's yeah, happening. Yeah, same here. But uh, autopilot decks, I feel in Vanguard, there is no such thing as an autopilot deck. Decks may be easier to play than others and more straightforward, but there is no such thing as a deck that plays itself, mainly because you have to be able to differentiate between somebody who's just starting the game and somebody who's played the game for two months. If I give a Chaos Breaker deck to somebody who's just starting, chances are they will misplay seven, ten times throughout the entire game. But for somebody who's been playing for two months, probably maybe three or four times throughout the game, but the more experienced player, like say if you take the person playing for two months with Chaos Breaker and the beginner playing Chaos Breaker, the person with two months experience should be able to beat the person with no experience. And like kind of that's kind of how I think of autopilot decks. Like when Dote came out, people thought Dote was autopilot, but there are so many people who don't know how to use Dote properly. Oh my gosh, it's so true. Because like, people in America, they didn't realize that Aramo was any good until the very end, which is like really good. Uh, kind of, like, see, uh, up here uh, with my friend, uh, if I can find the article, I'll send it to you guys. To Well, give me one second. It's on, do you know how Ultra Way Elder Games had an article contest a while ago? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I didn't pay attention to Alter Reality Games, because right, I'm so, not that much right. Okay, so ARG had a Vanguard article contest a while ago, and I submitted an article along with my friend, but we, at my locals, we don't think MO is necessary in any Kagura deck. Not even at one? Not even at one. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so either. The problem is that MO works on hit, so after... And well, you're mainly using it when you're grade suck or you need a good setup. But the problem is, after you both get to grade three, your opponent's probably going to start two to passing you, and that's when Ermo fizzles. So you'll probably get one use out of it. So one ditch and draw, one filter. One filter is great, but when you really need the more, when you really need more filters, Gojo is a lot better because it's yeah, guaranteed. Okay, I was going to ask. Yeah, and like another thing more is that Gojo. It, Gojo goes off before you do your attack phase. Well, before you go into battle phase, so you can actually plan out things better. Because ammo happens after the attack hits, and say if you needed a good field set up before then, then you're not going to get it. Ammo is good more for like early game rather than late game uh, combo with Dote. Um, you wouldn't want to use ammo other than that. Yeah, other than trying mm -hmm. to dish and get another copy of Dote. But if you're running yeah. uh, six draw, then you should be able to get a copy of Dote. Fine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself decking out really quickly though with six draw? Uh, no. You have to like in Dote. Six crit, six draw. If the game goes on long enough, you, chances are you're going to deck out. But the main reason you use six crit, six draw, well, right now, is because with Dauntless, you lose hand advantage, and you need hand advantage with Dauntless. So running six crit and six draw just helps maintain it. Uh, that's true, I guess. Like, I guess Gojo, in a way, like, they both have their pros and cons, and, like, Ermo, it's good early game. Like, I usually get it out. Like, I guess... Now, did they ban Conru on the English? I can't remember. No, no, no. Uh, no, not yet. Not, 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 it won't get banned. <laughs> I have so many people telling me, Conru's going to get banned, Agent. It's not going to be in the English format anymore. You can't use Nouvelle. But th there's one reason why it will never, ever get banned in the English format. We don't have enough premier events. We don't have enough statistics for it to happen. We don't have any coverage for the events. And when we do have the events, there aren't there isn't a large enough pool of players in them to have a grasp of banning Conro. I can see that. I I, I can see why you yeah. say that. Like I, mean, I just feel that they hit like they hit Barco just because of the fact that they thought it was doing well in Japan. So I feel well, that there's still always that chance that know. they they hit, hit Barco because in Japan uh, they had Barco ML no sorry not MLB they had. Sparkle, Soul Saver, Palamedes, and Alfred all in the same format. And the thing is, Barkle immediately gave you five soul for Soul Saver. So the second you wrote it, if you had a grade two rush down and you threw your hand down to guard your field at grade two, and you wrote Soul Saver, you'll just rush them again. And then you gain too much advantage off of that. And then for the English meta, they didn't want that to happen because they already saw that Royal Paladins were very popular. And then they just decided to hit Barkle, which is fair. I mean, the card is stupid. You can play it right now and it'll still do well. Mm, yeah, I guess so. I, I can see that. Okay, so then, I guess we can move on to something else. So, uh, is there anything else you have been playing, Agent, like, in particular, maybe, 
to any specific card game that you've noticed anything you want to bring up before I go into Matt? Uh, not really, no. I've just been playing Vanguard mostly. It's uh, the, the meta's fine right now. I'm just waiting for set 14 to come out. <laughs> Isn't set 14, uh, which one? Cantalot? Is that Cantalot? Uh, Zenith, yeah. It comes out July 18th, but I, I can get my case a week early, which I am, so I get my case next week Friday. Sounds pretty good. Oh, is, yeah. is it a sneak peek or just like uh, just because no, you own... it's, uh, I'm getting a case, like 16 boxes. Set 14. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I have yeah. contacts. The <laughs> case gives him the better me. chance to get the SPs, bro. Don't you know? <laughs> I need a. I actually don't want that much from this set. I just want Ignition Dragon, but uh, all three of mine need to be SP. And the rest is basically trade or uh, vendor fodder. Uh, yeah. Ignition. Uh, the break ride. Or oh, for or, or can, yeah. When you break oh, ride yeah. over counter blast one, your opponent chooses two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was good. Yeah, that, one, that one's good. Retiring is good. So like, yeah. Um. May, like speaking of that, do you guys think that Narukami is kind of like? The underdog right now for any meta because like looking at both like um japanese and english like you have brawlers that aren't doing too well but they're still there and then there's also like things like um can't remember the guy the 11k who stands discard three can't remember his name for the life of me. for english english eradicator i don't know but like oh descendant yeah, yeah so like do you guys think of it as like a top deck still and that it can still do well? Uh, I'll let Matt go first on this one. Um, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. I think it's sort of like a high mid-tier. It can definitely still put up quite a lot of pressure, but uh, it can go either way, honestly. It's it's not... I don't think Vanguard is one of those where you can predict it like, like Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything else. It's It's just the matter of how the person plays it, and the ingenuity of the player. So I think we just have to play it by ear more than anything. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see that. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I guess, Matt, let's move on to you. And So what have you been playing card-wise? Um, honestly, um, just because I've been sort of um, bored with it, I sort of stopped playing Vanguard for a while. So I've been just sort of sticking with Yu-Gi-Oh! and trying to figure out uh, decks that I can play that are fun and different. Like, I recently made this Reptile deck that focuses around uh, Jar Turtle and Venom and Non, and it's freaking hilarious, and it's beat uh, top-tier ga- uh, top tier decks on Dev Pro and Dueling Network, and it's hilarious. Just seeing the people rage and not expect, like, Jar Turtle from the plus two from the Jar of Greed combination. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> And then uh also been testing a deck that's been revolving around uh, Elemental the Hero Wild Heart since it's unaffected by traps. Just play all the traps that target both sides of the field and uh, watch my monster keep alive while everyone else sort of gets annoyed with the fact that they can't do anything since I have a counter for everything. Especially with the new format, since there's going to be three DD Prison and three Mirror Force, I mean, yeah, the last couple of formats have been still very back row heavy, but this one is very much more stunned than the previous, I think. Yeah, yeah but not many people are going to run three Mirror Force. They're mainly going to run a three D Prison just for the hands, but then Mirror Force is going to be like something people still forget. Because you, ha- you run it at two, and people don't run it. It's just well, like, it's an afterthought. Something to keep in mind is towards the end of Dragon Ruler format, when they had, when they, when they had, they didn't have their babies, but they still had each, three of each dragon. People were starting to run more battle traps. They started to run Forbidden Lance and Mirror Force. And then Mirror Force would catch a lot of people off guard and basically win them the game. And then Lance is good. But with the Triple D Prison, I feel like a lot of lower tier decks can have a slight chance at regionals. I mean, GBs were great with D Prison, but they're even better now that it's back at 3. And Mirror Force is at 3 and it's because you can protect your monsters more. Arguably, every format is GB format. Because, <laughs> honestly, it, yeah. none of the formats have hurt... GBs. It's just a matter of them being able to beat the uh, the faster decks. Mm-hmm. But they have to get a uh, proper setup for it and gain control early on. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. Card card D's. Card card D's. I've heard they actually a lot of people test it with GBs. Like, I have a guy at school who plays GBs and card card D gets in the way. No, I, I've been playing GBs right now with uh, two bears on a wolf park because wolf park can target Laquari. So if I really needed to you can it just gives you rank four access, which is good. 
and there it gives you popping. Because usually with GBs, you have to rely on the battle phase. But with Bear in there, you can still have a good engine going while getting rid of certain cards from your yeah, opponent. I think, I think my friend runs one Bear, one Wolf Bark. And then everything else is just sort of like GB engine. Like, he runs two Augusto, which people think is awful. But he actually found a way to break it. Augusto, that's the level 8, right? Yeah, that's the one that came out in the recent set. I, I wouldn't play it just because I feel like it would be a dead draw. Just because it is a little late. I mean, you could try and use it with trade in, but aside from that, you, okay. uh, trade in. Uh, you can't exactly summon it. So. Well, yeah. Well, um, the way he does it is that he'll just uh, if he does have one in hand, like I said, he plays two. He'll yeah. tag out into one of them and then special summon the one from his hand using its effect and then overlay into Felgrand. Yeah, Felgrand and GBs is powerful. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, random anything is powerful. Yeah. Just, I hate that card so much. I don't like it because mermails have an incredibly hard time getting over it. It's so annoying. You can soul charge into that thing, and then you pretty much guaranteed game. It's like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't hit soul charge or semi-limit the hands. I'm not. Soul charge, I mean, soul charge is a good card. Too new. It's too, they're all too new. But they want to keep on selling sets. Dragons of Legend needs to still sell. Exactly. I mean, it's not broken six cents level where they needed. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey who's what's back on? All right. Hey, what's up, guys? How you been? Okay, so guys, uh, introduction for Agent and everybody else. It's uh, Scruffy Pillows. He has finally been able to get, come on. You know. Um, oh, we're recording what? now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> right on. <laughs> hey guys, what's yeah. up? This is Scruffy Pillows. Uh, sorry, I was out of town and just got back. So uh, deepest no and way. most humblest apologies. Where uh, you been? Sorry. So yeah, what what uh what topic are we on? Uh, we're just we're sort on. of talking about the different card games that we've been playing and like what we've been following and such stuff. So we're sort of agent had his oh, turn, so we're on mine right now. We on play. All right, I lost audio for a second. We're good. Okay, so pretty much what we've been talking about is how Agent is a SP whore and that <laughs> lots of money from the U.S. to get cheap built cards that aren't really real. <laughs> like, you know, oh, That's God. Cool. And apparently somebody's opening up a soda can now. Um, I have no idea who that could be. Insert advertisement for Coca-Cola or Pepsi. I don't know. Um, Mountain Dew. Uh, not really from the mountain, and not really do, but tastes just as it, good as if it were. Mountain right. do. As long as yeah, it's not so Pepsi, because I hate Pepsi. Well, nobody likes this? you either, Matt. <laughs> well, you know what? You can go die in a hole. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Agent, they, these two guys know each other for a while now. So that's fine. That's I'm what. like this with my friends, too, all the time. We just take shots at each other every chance we get. Yeah. Shot. I, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh Another round of shots. What? <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want copyright notices here, Matt. So, uh, so yeah, um, I think we're done with uh, Matt for right now. So, Scruffy, since you're on, let's see what card games have you been playing in general, anything card game wise. Uh, card games in general. Um, well, anyone that has been on my uh, Scruffy Pillars channel, which um or any of my subscribers in general, uh, know that I haven't been playing a lot recently due to the fact that I've been saving money trying to go to Scotland. But uh, as far as card games in general, uh, Weiss, obviously, uh, I got into it with Vivid Red. Um, Vanguard got into it probably on, like, episode 13 <laughs> of of the first season of Vanguard. Um yeah. We're not, we're not talking about, like... Yeah, no, no, like, no, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just kind of getting them a little bit more antiquated as to what games I played and a brief synopsis on how I got into it. Just a, I, I didn't just randomly say, oh, hey, I'm going to play Weiss, or hey, I'm going to play Vanguard. I was just throwing it out there. Um, and uh, and We Cross. We Cross is something new for me. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's back from the dead. Like you were like gone for like a solid two months, man. Yeah, man, we miss you. <laughs> well, I mean, 
I, I don't know. I I guess it's like everyone gets into those modes where they played card games for so long that they they get to the point in their life where they're like, I don't want to spend money on this right now. I don't want to buy anything right now because you, you feel like it's almost like a waste of money because uh, I don't know. you're, Been you're constantly having to spend money to catch up to new sets or you're constantly having to spend money to keep up with the meta. Or, or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, like, Adam probably doesn't know this feeling, Scruffy. He plays like a lot of card games here. Uh, well, okay. To give you an example, Scruffy, to give you an example of card games. Well, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, Weiss, Buddy Fight, and uh, Vanguard. With Vanguard, uh, that SPs in my decks total up to more than twenty. <laughs> I currently have. 10 SPs in Leopold Reverse, 8 in Revengers, uh, how many in Aqua Force? 6 in Aqua Force right now. How many? <laughs> <laughs> and for why smite you, I play Miku, which is... Ooh, like, you can get signed over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you can get sign cards pretty easily, so I have 5 sign cards yeah. in that. For oh Buddy God. Fight, I used to have Buddy Rares, but I got rid of them out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Originals. And for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, my Mermail deck, I have, like, German Tiuses, Secret First Italian Megalos, Ulti Marksmen, German Bahamut Sharks. That foreign. We're, we're foreign. done here. We're done. I, I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm signing off now. Yeah, yeah, I'll flip table, put down headset, I'm done. Close. Uh, no, that's a, that was another thing, Buddy Fight. I forgot to mention that. It's, a, it's not something that I was actively playing, but it seems like it's kind of interesting, like, I just watched the anime for Dual Seeger. Whenever the guy yells, oh, uh, funny. Yeah. It's like he's got that horrible grottle sound to his voice, and I hate it. But <laughs> It's fun to watch. It's, it's, a, it's a fun to watch show. I, I don't know. Because I feel like the game isn't very fun. Like, I've tried it once, like, no. three times, I'm, and I'm just like, I can't get into it. I, don't, I haven't... Like, the game is... It takes thinking. The first time I played it, I thought, this game is stupid. It's based on Buddy Fight. The anime, the first two episodes didn't look good. I didn't want to watch it. I still haven't watched the entire anime or any of it. You have, you have to watch a certain episode because these guys, their deck charger things are on their crotches. That's what? Funny. <laughs> yeah. <I'm not laughs> and then Vanguard people have a cameo. I'm not joking. All the people in Vanguard have a cameo, but they look ugly as hell. I know the Vanguard yeah. people have a cameo, but with Buddy Fight, like the game itself... It takes thinking, but certain decks aren't fun to play against. Like, if you're playing Magic World with uh, 72 Pillars, and you're trying to face Ancient World with Seegers, it's not fun. I feel uh, like it's back to go over Dual Seeger, and I can't magical go buy it. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, well, no. Uh, Matt, uh, and I'm sorry, Matt, I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, all I was going to say is, uh, if you go into Buddy Fight knowing that... Uh, just like everything else, that it's a it's a card game that is directed for children. We had. Did you guys hear that? I didn't. For Stupid, and it's supposed to be goofy and and yeah. though. Is everybody else static? Is everybody else getting the static, or is it just me? No, I'm uh, hearing it too. I'm getting it when Scruffy talks, not you two. So okay, I got I, I got just a bit now from you, Adam. But I mean, Agent, sorry. Whoops. Uh, it's fine. I'll edit, I'll edit that out. <laughs> no, I'm picking it more from Scruffy. That was weird. It was just like you were talking. Uh, I don't know. Oh, completely God. slowed it down. Try again. Uh, well, all I was basically saying was that if it's... um, If you look at it as a card game for children then you, you kind of look past all the lame and stupid stuff that happens. Yeah. It's simple. Easy way. Easiest way. Everybody play Dungeon World. No no clue what's going to happen there. Yes. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. 
Well, uh, <laughs> well, when I played it, I, my influence probably wasn't exactly the best, and Scruffy could probably vouch for me on this, but um, I was given a, like, a real basic by, like, Dragon World deck by Greg, and I was just like, oh. um, I'm playing this, and I'm playing you, and I'm just like, I'm not having fun with this game. This game isn't wait, fun to me. Wait, Matt, do you mean influences in like, alcohol and like drugs and all that? No, or? I mean <laughs> as in the person that introduced the game to me. Don't do drugs, children. We're not promoting alcohol or LSD or anything like that. Don't don't oh, do drugs. No. Yeah, Stay in school. Considering, <laughs> considering I got home pretty kind of fucked up last night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Now, that's that's now great. I to, you just now I have to put something at the beginning of this video saying, warning, uh, coarse language is used. Oh, thanks a lot, Matt. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's okay. It's I'm okay. too real I, for you guys. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but uh, no. no, I I very definitely agree with you. You, it's kind of like having Greg hand you a Royal Paladin deck and just say, "Here, play me." Oh no, that's what he did the other day. I was like, oh. "Hey, you want to play?" I was like, "I don't have a card. I don't have a deck on me." He's like, "Well, you, I do have Royal Paladins." I'm like, "Yeah, but they're yours." And he's like, "So I have this deck here. I'll just use this one." I'm just like, "Okay, fine." Everything I did with his deck, it just felt wrong. Like Cause it every everything. <laughs> it, I I'm not a royal paladin player, but I know how to play royal paladins. So when I was playing his deck, everything felt like the deck was playing against me. Okay, so then is that that that'll bring me to a different thing to ask you guys all. Um, just card game wise, do you guys think that you need to have like a certain deck that you know the ins and outs of, like the build, and then like. Say for Vanguard, do you have a certain clan that better fits you? Is that like a thing? Do you think that that exists? Yes, uh, very much so, and I have witnessed and experienced it. I feel like that only exists for casual players. I feel like if you're a competitive player, you should be able to pick up any deck, and set, you should be able to know a bit about it. So, say if right now I'm maining Nouvelle, but I can pick up my Leopold the deck, my Tetra Drive deck, my Grand Blue deck, and I can play it. And I feel like if you're a competitive player, you shouldn't stick to a certain deck. You should be able to have the ability to branch out and be do well with other decks. No, uh, I, I'll agree to that because I play more than one deck as well. I'm pretty sure we all play more than one deck. But yeah. it's just a matter of which one makes you feel the most comfortable, I think. So if you're playing out a, a deck that you're not quite... You, you should be familiar with, but you're not quite familiar with because you just don't play it as often as others something about it will make you feel off, you know? It's one of those things that you can't quite explain, but it, it just happens. Uh, I I agree 100%, but I think based off of uh, what Agent was saying is that it's, a, uh, it's an improvised, adapt, and overcome sort of situation. You know, if you're playing up against someone that's using, like, for example, they're playing Revengers and you're playing... Uh, Oracle Think Tanks. You should know uh, enough about Revengers and know their play style and everything else to be able to anticipate what they're doing and then take into consideration what your deck is capable of doing and then improvise the strategy, adapt to their own strategy, and through your own antics, overcome their own. Yep, I agree with that completely. So, that's, uh, I think that's something that everyone should should do it it's card games are a knowledge based game the more you know the better player you are well i mean you can know a lot about the game in general but you have to know more about the clans and how they act and so like would would you say it would help to know to play every card then like to play to to have played every single deck to understand the ins and outs no but i think you should have a general understanding of the base combinations within the certain cards so if say i'm going to uh piggyback off the revengers idea if you're going to use uh raging form or blast of dark and what what is it uh dorant or something like that yeah, uh, Doran. You you need to be able to know uh when your opponent is going to use the skills at what moment so that you be able to uh adjust and reapply what you need to do for your strategy. That way you can um, still take advantage of what little advantage you have. Yeah. You also need to, I feel like you need to keep track of drive checks too. So say if, uh, I'll just go with what Scruffy said. If I'm playing Oracle Think Tank and my opponent's playing Revengers, and on their turn, 
they drive check a blasted dark and a trigger. But they have a door on field and they have an empty column in front of it. If I, when I draw for turn, I don't want to be calling down the best rear guard I have. So I don't want to be calling down the silent tom. Because I know that the second they call the blasted dark, they're going to pop the tom. And I feel yeah. like a lot of people would call the tom because, well, tom is a great card. It's stupid. Uh, be- well, before <laughs> Nouvelle came out, but even now, Nouvelle, it's- I agree too. <laughs> even now it's still good because you still can't guard with zeros. But the second you call down tom, it's gone because your opponent's going to pop it with a berserk dragon, a blaster dark, a blaster blade, and some people would just call it bef- like call it first, but they should call it different rear guard beforehand. Yeah. And- Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it does that make that that does make a lot of sense? Yeah, I would agree yeah. with that. So, so uh, I think that's it for that. So I guess I'll say what I've been up to recently. So I haven't been really up to a lot because I've been moving. But like, what I've actually been doing like recently is that I have to get a hold of my ED 11s that came in the mail and I have to pick them up soon. But yeah, so I've been looking into uh, Revenger Abyss and witches so witches for shadow paladin and apart from that i've been trying to sell a bunch of stuff as agent would probably know about yeah uh, i've seen your posts on the pages yeah by the way if you guys want anything just hit me up just <laughs> <laughs> so, i mean if you had sps i'd probably do it but you don't have sps <laughs> okay okay i'll get sps and then you can buy them off of me okay so yeah but uh yeah um I don't know. I, I just, like, after looking over the set, I feel that Shadow Paladins, they kind of got nerfed. Like, if Phantom Blaster Abyss was, if he wasn't on the turn that he legioned, he'd be so much better. Yeah, I feel like you could just play Dry Ghouler and do better than PBA. That's, yeah, that's the thing. Like, a lot of builds, I think you'd be better with just using Mordred Phantom, Judge Bow, and then using, like, one Phantom PBA. Like, that's pretty much it. Then I think the big contender is like witches because they have the ability to disrupt field, but they need a setup. It's kind of like how Aqua Force needs a setup as well to be well. To do uh, I well. feel like that witches are worse than revengers because with witches they swap out the cards for grade zeros, and swapping out a card for grade zero is great because it does ruin field setup. But popping a card is better than swapping a card. I can see that, yeah, but like I feel that maybe just one of the only downsides to that. Like the grade zero calling ability is because they're allowed to pick something. Yeah. So if they wanted to pick like Cat Butler, then they could guard to protect it to save it for the next turn, mm-hmm. which is why I I can see why you're saying that. But like I feel that like considering the fact that Phantom like uh, Revengers won't get as much support yeah. now, I feel that witches have a better opportunity to get better if you know what I mean. Yeah, they're that really we- gimmicky. It's kind of hard to tell right now. Yeah, that's true. There haven't been any tournaments in Japan recently to base all our stuff. Actually, there have. Uh, there's two decks that won that came, that did like third place for Revengers, but everything else is like still Sting Saber, Musketeers, and Mega Flare. Yay for Musketeers! And like, the ones that are using Revengers are like, there's one PBA. It's ridiculous. I'm like, what the heck? But yeah, so like, this is, I, I want to ask you guys, do you think that running low number of grade 3s is helpful in a deck at all? Because a lot of the ones that are winning now are just running 4 grade 3s and that's it. 4 boss cards. Uh, um, if the I deck used to. The, oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, I used to. I used to, oh, back when I, well, I still do, I guess, but when I ran a full moon, of uh, Goddess of the Full Moon, I only ran 4 Goddess of the Full Moon and that was it. Everything else was either grade 1 or grade 2 to fill in. And the deck was perfectly consistent um, in, like, locals or anything. And then when I went to a big tournament, it was it was as if it had its period and wanted to be the most in, just hateful bitch in the world. Uh, it's, it's sort of a double-edged sword in a sense because you do have the factor of missing the ride and you also have the... Well, if you get it early, then you have no problem. But if you get it late game and you end up grade blocking for two turns, then it's going to hurt, so... It's one of those things you have to keep in mind. You got to keep your resource. If you if you have all your resources, why not take advantage? I guess, I guess. I guess that brings it also to the point that like the fact that it's Legion, and then like you want to run more of those like Gojo clones, like Adam said earlier. I mean Agent, and uh, you want to run more of those things at Soul Blast, and then you can draw cards. I guess 
And like you have the, I think that it further emphasizes the need for a grade three searcher. You guys know uh, what I mean. Like, yeah. you know, like I'm looking at a the Mega Flare deck list right now that won uh, a tournament in twenty recently, and they're only running the four Mega Flares. And to, for the draw engine, they're running Kirara, they're running four Shouts, three Energy Chargers, and they're running uh, what the grade three searcher and yeah. five draws. So if you run four grade threes. You have to compensate for it by running other draw engine draw engines in your deck. Okay, so yeah, so I guess it's a thing. Like, I guess Revengers isn't the best of things. No, I mean you wouldn't run four grade threes in Revengers. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Like, but risers. Mortar Phantom. Yeah. Farming. Farming is a thing. Also. Hmm. I guess with risers it works just because you only really want Mega Flare. That's the only thing you need. Also, because they don't use Counter Blast at all. Yeah, that too. Yeah, but uh, switching over, I guess we should talk a bit about the English for the English meta, knowing seeing as all of us know that a bit better and of what the sets and all that. So I guess looking forward, we have set fourteen. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, yeah set fourteen. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Looking forward, do you guys think that set fourteen is going to have a huge impact on the meta as it currently is? Uh, someone remind me what comes in set fourteen. Set fourteen. Uh, you have Gancelot Zenith, uh, Ezel Scissors, Ignition Dragon, Tempest Bolt, uh, Minerva. Minerva, that's a good. Uh, you have Yadigarasu if you want to run that. You also have. I'll just bring up the page. Yeah, it's. I mean, um, yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me do that too. Uh, but on the. Yeah, at first, which is, yeah. So you have actually reverse Zenith, Ezel Scissors. You got a Grasso Minerva, uh, Dauntless Reverse, Ignition Dragon, Tempest Bolt. So, okay, so it, it, it might do something. Well, like, nobody really used Reverse Unit except for, like, Pale Moon to really do well. Uh, yeah, but Pale Moon was hype. Like, they sort of fizzled. It did fizzle. Well, actually, there was a Pale Moon deck that won an event uh, recently. Yes, they did. They won a team event, but it, yeah. it, it ended up being carried by the other two. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's what I, well, I was wondering. Like, you guys think that even though it's on a it's on a winning thing, it could also just mean that they didn't play that person at all, and they just relied on the other two. Because like, if you look at like, oh, this guy played Dote, and then this guy played Revengers, like Raging Form, and then the, the other guy played like Grambler, Pale Moon, but, but Pale yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, do you think that they played at all? Like, I I really feel that it would require a lot of skill and a lot of luck. Like, it wouldn't be as like um, skillfully uh, played out because uh, of that. Yeah. There are a lot of decks. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of uh, people that are really liking this game. Looking back at last year, when I was looking at all the statistics for regionals and what decks had topped, I think it was the Chicago regionals. The Knock Force deck had won, but his grade three lineup was uh, terrible. It was horrible. There was two Maelstroms, two Glory Maelstroms, and four Benedicts, and he oh, only had no that. yeah, and he, and he and he only had two Perfect Guards in his deck. And I feel like in order for him to win that event, that took a lot of luck. And probably a lot of criticals on the Benedict, too. So I feel like... Maybe that was a strategy. Like, if you can luck sack in this game, you can play any deck you want, even a Morikawa deck, and you'll win. It doesn't matter, you just get triggers. Okay, no, 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 Morikawa deck is bad, okay? Like, no, Morikawa is god. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Man, he approves of grade three. It's not a good thing. Yeah, I mean... Morikawa is our champion. Everyone, praise the Lord Morikawa. <laughs> so this is what the title of this video is going to be, Praise Morikawa? Praise Morikawa, yes. He, praise grade threes and above. <laughs> Nouvelle is the only... Yeah. Wasn't there, like, another grade four? Yeah, it was, um... Uh, it was a great nature. Silver. Yeah, um... Uh, it had yeah. a restriction date on it, though, for... Uh, I know. For... English, it was, this card can't be used after February, like, 23rd or something. 21st. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Dude, I remember mm -hmm. when I played that, it was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, so good. No, we were kind of straight away from set 14, so... Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> set 14, as far as people who are using uh, Genesis, oh, yeah. they're getting a, a big support using Regalia with Minerva, because everyone's saying that Restanding Vanguards is super hype right now. Um, it is. Since Tetra Drive came out, uh, 
liberators are still just liberators, in my opinion. They do what liberators do. Uh, Let's see, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Neonectors get a few little things. Yeah, they get, uh, they also get a break ride, too. Yeah. Clones, too, from field by kind of lost one. You get the universe, which I feel won't do (coughs) too good. Yeah. Like the big the big thing is just basing it off of this is probably gonna be like Gold Paladin and Genesis. But like Gold Paladin you'll need to buy set fifteen. Like set fifteen I feel is the set that you wanna spend the most money on. It's like it's like the BT fifth the BT five of every season. You know how like you have BT nine and BT five where like the climaxes? That's the climax of this entire set, if you know what I mean. No, uh, yeah, I, I think like... you'd be able to make your money back with set fifteen. Yeah. Um, I feel like in set 14, there are a lot of cards that people are just... Agent, go ahead. I I feel like in set 14, there are a lot of cards that people are just immediately disregarding because nobody plays them. Uh, Ashley Reverse is a counterblast 1, lock 1 for a plus 2. Over the course of of like 3 or 4 turns, that will completely disrupt your opponent's play style and probably win you the game because... If you need rear guards and your opponent just blew them up, you can get rear guards. And See, I, yeah. I get that, yeah. but like, you, the fact is that Royal Paladins, at least Jewel Knights, are complete and utter garbage. Like they were not, they they were so well, overhyped. Actually, they get uh, Miranda and uh, where is it? Tilda. Does Ashley need open rear guards in order to use her uh, lock ability? Do you. Uh, I don't believe she does. Give me one second. She just needs... Uh... No, you don't need an open rear guard. You can just call it over something. Okay. So if you wanted an intercept, you could replace a grade 3 with it. But I, I feel like Jewel Knights now, the deck does get more support. Actually, reversed is... The, the, the same... That. I can't speak. Words are hard. It's Here. the main Here. focus of the deck. And uh, I feel like other cards that people are overlooking are uh, Dauntless Reverse and... That that might be a threat. Dauntless Reverse Uh, is one of the best cards that synergizes with its break ride. And a lot of people have said Dauntless Reverse is bad because you're dependent on checking a non-trigger. But the thing is, if you check a non-trigger... Well, if you check a trigger or non-trigger, it doesn't matter. You get something... It pretty much makes everything a trigger, yeah. in a way. So. Everything in your deck is live on drive checks, so <coughs> you can... And the thing is, you know when somebody, if you have an 11k Vanguard, I hit you for 18 with Dauntless Reverse, and you do 15 for a 2 to pass? If I hit a yeah. trigger and a non-trigger, the attack still goes through, because I hit 26. So... Yeah, but I, I think that maybe the only reason why people are <laughs> overlooking that card is because they're thinking it's like, since New Vell came out, they're going to New Vell first well, before they'll well, go to the. You Dominic could run Trump. Dauntless Reverse in New Vell. That's true. So either that way, when you break ride, you'll get a 13k base, and you'll get an effect that benefits you in the in your game. But is there really room? Because I I feel like wouldn't you want to run two Dauntless and then or two to three Dauntless try like just Dauntless break ride and then you'd want to run like one of the uh, the other card that like lets you superior ride it Cruel on Dragon? top of. The- Cruel yeah. Dragon's good for a turn for Novell ride, but Dauntless Novelling somebody is really, really good and powerful. It kills their hand and possibly kills them that turn. I, I mainly use Cruel Dragon for its limit break effect, so I can just keep plussing. And if you Dauntless, sorry, if you Cruel over Dauntless, you can plus two. But okay. with Dauntless Reverse, it's better because you actually gain power off of it and your 13k base. And you could also just drop one Novell from the deck and run three, and running three isn't bad. Because you still have it when you need it. Yeah, I can see that. I understand exactly the reasoning behind that. Um, Matt, Scruffy, anything else to say on anything about what we just said? Uh, nothing really on my end other than, I think, other than uh, uh, Dauntless Reverse, Minerva, occasionally uh, Gansalot, and Ashley Reverse... I think this is just, to me, and I'm sorry if it upsets all of you, like, diehard Gold Paladin fans out there, 
Kagero fans, Murakuma fans, yada, 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 so on and so forth. Uh, I think set 14, other than those very few cards, it's just one big place filler. It is. Like, I feel that like it's just maybe the anime that sold this set entirely. Like, you could have taken the good cards from set 14, put them all into set 15, made it like an 120 set, and then you would have sold so much because people wanted the, all those, like, good cards. Oh, let me let me correct myself. Uh, um, Ignition Dragon, the new break ride for Narukami. That's also pretty decent. That's so good. Yeah. It's good. It's not, to me, it's not decent. <laughs> it doesn't even speak it's, proper English when he talks about it. It's good. <laughs> it's good. That's that's it. I did put an S at the end of the it's this time. Oh, I didn't hear it. My bad. It's okay. my bad. Well, I feel like there are a lot of uh, commons and rares that are needed in this set. I mean, a lot of the, to be fair, a lot of the commons and rares I'm throwing in every set are just filler. We don't need them, but, I mean, they want to get cards out so people can play the game if they're just starting and they don't want to spend like $40 on the Dauntless, but like some of the rares that are good are, uh, I don't know how to pronounce its name, but it's Uwe or Owe, the Eradicator card that you can solo charge to kill the front row when you're at a grade 3, and then you have the Soul Blast, you have the Luckbird clone for Kagero, and yeah. I mean, I'm a Kagero fan, so obviously I'm going to talk about Kagero. And Dude, Reach, aren't you so happy that Kai is using Kagero now? Again? Oh, of course. Oh. Yeah, it just means that we'll get a good Legion. Whenever Kai uses something, <laughs> we just get a good card. Kai uses Dote. Oh, Dote's no, good. No, I, I, was, I saw like his post from Bushiro the other day. It's like Blaster Blade, you know how like his speaker deck, it's, it's like they dict- like uh, depicted exactly what his deck was and everything. Yeah. I looked at it, I was like, it makes so much sense why he's losing now. Because yeah. the deck only ran one Blaster Blade speaker. Exactly. It and was everything cool. was reliant on it. <laughs> It goes to damage. I lose. <laughs> you can't it's beat so, it. It was, it was bad, but yeah, like um, I don't know. Are you excited for the next? Like at least seeing what the Legion is. Like, are you guys excited to see what Legions come out now that they're trying to make them better? Uh, I'll let other people go first. I've been talking too much. <laughs> uh, Matt, I'm, I'm gonna let you go first. I'm sort of fifty-fifty when it comes to Legion. Um. I feel like it's the break ride um, syndrome all over again. People feel like they absolutely have to play it now. Well, no, break ride. I mean, break ride is like a slower game, but like it's it's better for the long run. But Legion, it's faster. Yeah. The mid game. But then it becomes a twenty k. Then but then it becomes twenty k vanilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like we said in the near the beginning of the video, I've sort of um, had a slight falling out, so I'm sort of playing catch up at the same time. Um, the only real Legion I'm excited about is the fact that CO gets ac- real, actual support. And support. decent support. Oh, the new, yeah, the Mirror CO or something like that? Yeah. Oh, the CEO Legion. Yeah. I think that card like, is complete crap. The Legion is, sorry, for like... Fire! 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 <laughs> no, the card is... Okay. CEO is okay. The Legion... Mind you, while it can unflip damage by using CEO skill and it works great, I feel like it could have been a lot better because if oh, you run the Legion, it could be a lot better. Yeah. I'm just I mean, saying you, it's it, it, better than what CEO has now. Because honestly, yeah. it's to me it, it's better than it's, Goddess it's, of the Cross. Its cross ride is not existing. No, it's a lot of people say it's not existent. I feel like the cross ride, if it wasn't limit break, it'd be better. <laughs> Like, I, I saw the skill um, when it was first being released when Japan was getting set 9. I'm like, Counter Blast 2, oh, I can search your card when it hits. Great, Limit Break. Why? They're just going to guard it. It's not going to hit. It, I feel like the CEO cross ride for GOTS um, came like three, four sets too late. Yeah. Like, it should have came out like sometime uh, when Dote or. Uh, PBO came out. Dota and PBO came out at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said Dota or PBO, so. Well, because because Believe they're not the same card. Uh, that's the only reason I said or. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> what the hell? Uh, but the, like, I'm not I'm not really excited for Legion. The oh oh, you know what? Um, the Musketeer Legion's actually pretty good. 
Yeah. You can run that. You can just run four of those, and then you can run a bunch more musketeers. Uh, that actually works. I've tried it. Yeah, I've seen deck lists that just run four of the musketeer legion, and they just play it because they have the grade three searcher they can deck then. So. Yeah. Well, I, I just I just love playing musketeers. I, it's it's a really fun deck. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was waiting for that statement to come out. Like, I, well, I'm just gonna play it because I like playing musketeers. So, to hell with all the other reasons. I don't care if it's actually good or not. I'm just gonna play it because I like musketeers. It's fun. I yeah, like whatever. playing it because it's fun. It's fuck. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Fudge you. Fudge you, Scruffy. <laughs> no, no. White. It's okay. You can swear as much as you want. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Um, fudge, no. fudge you, Scruffy. I, th- <laughs> you're, you know what? You know what, Scruffy? You're just dirt. What? I, I'm dirt. I'm dirt. Man. This whole I shit's mean, dirt. No. You don't have SPs, yeah. man. You can't get on my level. He uh, doesn't hold his buddy rare. You know? <laughs> well, he doesn't make that money. You know what? You know what? To hell with the SPs. I am <laughs> SP. Scruffy pillows, man. <laughs> uh, um... Let's see, uh, my thoughts on Legion, um, to be honest with you, when I first saw it, uh, about the speculation of you could only put normal units back into the deck, that was, that was weird for me, because I thought it was just normal units, like, you couldn't put anything back, it just had to be, like, vanillas, like Marin, or, you know, um, oh. Gallatin, or whatever, like, I would have been terrible, I would have, like, killed been... myself. Why would... I'm not even gonna bother explaining stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. no. But, but like when I when I first heard it, that was the speculation on it because, you know, the the actual classification on it is you have stuff like, um, I think maybe it's just because you you like you're so used to like, the lingo of being like vanillas and like 10k beaters that you thought that normal units would just be units that were like no effect. But I think it's maybe that you forgot that. Triggers were also considered normal units. Well, see, um, no, 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 because it, I don't know if that's it, true or not. It, it just—it technically says at the bottom of a trigger unit that it is a trigger unit. Yeah. So that's that's what gave me the false impression. As well, I this is coming to like to make it. This is, this is becoming like Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. The wording is everything now. We're gonna yeah. Very. Okay. Uh, there are so many stupid board? questions asked regionals for rulings that shouldn't even be asked. Are you a judge? Uh, I judged last year's regionals, yeah. I also oh, okay. got top 8 at a stand-up cup before that. Nice. So I have credibility! Aside from SPs. <laughs> we, have a, we have a badass on our hands. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Right? Um, well, you know what? I think that Tony, Matt, and myself, we should all just shut up and let Agent run this whole thing. You know? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all, in comparison, we're all just dirt. We should all just leave. Go crawl. Yeah. Go. You know what? Just fudge you, Agent. Just fudge you. <laughs> fudge you. Oh, man. Um, but no, uh, now that I've figured out that obviously trigger units can be put back in, uh, it's great, but then it just falls under the impression of kind of like with break rides. It depends on what your clan is doing at that moment and how well the synergy between your legion and the Legion mate work with your with your deck in itself. Because you could have a great Legion, like a great grade 3 Legion, but if, like, the the grade 2 sucks, then you might as well just not even use it. Yeah. Or you can have it the other way around, like with a Link Joker Legion. The grade yeah. 2 is amazing, but the Legion is crap. Um, let's see. I feel like that with the Battle Sister Legion... You guys got shafted. Or TT got shafted again. Yeah. Um, I got bummed. <laughs> well, because I'm an I'm an OTT user, so I was like all excited, and I was like, oh, sad face. Don't worry. Sadness I have a beams. friend who builds all of the OTT text you know, text decks. Battle sisters, like aside from goddess, but he has battle sisters, Magus, Solus, and then he saw the battle sister Legion. And he's like I'm disappointed. Yeah. I'm just gonna um, stick to Full Moon and Monica, and I'm good. Yeah, there you go. So in the same deck. I thought you were like, I thought you were like, oh, Madoka. <laughs> anime. Yeah. Anime. It, it was. It was. I agree. 
Um, totally, okay. totally real quick question. Um, how long are we planning to make this video? Uh, I don't know. Do you need to go anywhere? Because, like, I'm, I was going to end it in, like, maybe 10, 20 minutes. I was just wondering, because we're, like, 55 minutes in. Yeah. It's, I, I've been recording for only 50 minutes, so, oh, yeah, never mind, 55. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys yeah. need to go anywhere? Or I don't know. Is it? No, I'm, um, I'm good. Arguably, I might. And, right, and well, that's a big it. maybe. So you're, so you're not even sure, and you want to end it now. I'm not ending. I'm not saying we end it now. I'm saying I may have to cut out early, just like oh. Scruffy had to come in late. You know what? I say we end Joe in. now. Let's let's just take Matt out of this. We'll just take is him out there, of the game. Matt, Matt, is there is there a hockey game going on or something? Like, is there is it is it like NHL Stanley Cup playoff? Because no, I know you like that. Um, the fact that it's um, Independence Day here in America, um, <laughs> Buddy and I were actually going to go to a couple clubs. Oh, he has that money now. He has those one dollar bills. <laughs> no, no, not that kind of club, like a, a dance club, not not a strip club. <laughs> Why? You were making it worse for yourself. <laughs> um, no, but uh, to kind of give a brief synopsis of what I was getting at is like, uh, we're, okay. we're done. No, no. <laughs> um, okay, but no. Um, honestly speaking, it'll be done in like twenty minutes. That's that's fine. Minutes. That's fine. I'm not yeah. in a rush. <laughs> Um, All right. Like I said, stuff like a Tetra Burst for Aqua Force. When I first saw it, I thought it was the crappiest Legion in the entire world ever. Just, I mean, because simply it was vanilla Legion to me. Because all it had to be was fourth attacker more, plus 5,000, plus one critical. The Legion still is crap, to be fair. I'd, I'd well, rather run Maelstrom Reverse. Well, no, 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 no. And yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that. Uh, it's better now because of anything else. I just mean in the sense of a lot of a lot of the times when legions come out, you get the that one ability that you see and you're just like, Yes, this is the reason why this clan exists. And like Royal Paladin <laughs> new one. Um yeah. no, I'm sorry. The Royal Paladin new one to me just no. Oh, Agent, aren't you, like, happy about that one? What, the Royal Paladin one? Yeah, aren't you excited for that one? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I shared something on it. Yeah. It was, like, uh, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? I'm dragging now. I'm checking my Facebook. Yeah. It's not yeah. that bad, because it's a plus one every turn. And even well, if it's counter bus two, a counter bus two for a plus one is good. Yeah, um, I mean... I, d I don't know. I guess it's just on the terms of you get, like I said, you get that one legion that does what it's supposed to do for your clan. Like, the only thing to me that I feel like Tetra Burst did for this clan that matched up was the fact that it had to be a battle of X number attacks or more. Yeah, that's, I feel that's like... All it did. Yeah. I still feel like the Aquaverse Legion... It, Obviously, it could have been a lot better, but it's not that good. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you 100%. It's it's all of the other stuff that's going into the deck that makes it better. Yeah. And, uh, like, what is it? What's that new card that um, is coming out for them? Uh, it's Force something. It's, well, you know, uh, well, we can come back onto this later. It's okay. It's, yeah. No, the, the, well, the starter the, makes uh, it good, and like oh, the one that gives the maelstrom ability. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, we can. Um, I was gonna bring up something else, but I don't want to bring it up because I'll probably upload a video later about it. But just so you guys know, the movie has been confirmed to have this new uh clan called the Leaders. The Leaders. The Leaders. They're what they do has already been released too. Really? What's the ability? I haven't seen uh, I know that. I've been told now. that you retire a unit face down and put it in the drop zone, so it, you you can't get back the unit again. That's what I've been told. So they're they're mixing Link Joker with Tagiro. Oh. So it's, almost, it's almost like uh, banishing in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's like banishing. So it, it, it doesn't affect reverse much. Kai with Kai. They're they're making a baby of Reverse Kai and Kai here, so it's like kind of too broken. Well, not fair. Well. Let's see, granted, now, I'm going based off the Wikipedia, which, you know, it's 
That's like going based off of rumors that you hear using Wikipedia. Um, uh, according to it, the deleter deck is all Link Joker. Yeah. Deleter so it, it, it's like Revengers with Shadow Paladins. You know, it's okay. it's just like an art type. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's- I'm okay with that. I'll I'll probably make that then. I'll, I'll bandwagon off that. Uh, Yo, somebody pump up those tunes. Pump up those tunes. Of, of course you would. Let's see, um, well, I I have a personal question. Uh, what is everyone hyped for in any card game? Like, regardless of whether it's uh, Vanguard, Weiss, or Buddy Fight, whatever. There was a static. I couldn't quite understand what you yeah. said. Uh, she oh, said, uh, basically, in a card game, what is everybody hyped for? Yeah, like, uh, Matt, Tony, Agent specifically, what are you guys excited for in, uh, in your respective card games? I am excited for Akami Got Killed to come into Weiss. Like... If it does get confirmed to come in twice, I will literally be like, shut up and take my money. Seriously. Take my money like the strippers do. <laughs> like that club you're going to? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Because you guys are totally not assholes. <laughs> you. We, we love you. It's uh, all the love. I can I can feel the hate. <laughs> <laughs> all the way from the States where me and Asian both live in uh, Canada. Yeah, I can. The salt is real with this one. <laughs> uh, Tony, what about you? What are you excited for? Uh, I don't know yet because uh, I kind of spent a lot of money on EB11, and uh, now I got to figure out if I. I'm, I'm not like agent. Like maybe agent. After this, we can discuss about where you, in the world you get all your sets from because I might need <laughs> those connections. Well, but. No, I don't. So, I don't necessarily mean like what do you plan on buying. You don't have to like oh. drop thousands of dollars, but like okay. as far as sets that have come out for any card game that you you enjoy, what are you most excited to see? What am I most excited to see? Okay, I'm most excited to mainly just see the artwork for Golden Time because that anime was so funny and it was so good. Are they making a Weiss deck for Golden Time? Uh, no, they're making. They're oh. putting it to Victory. I think Chaos. I don't yeah. know, but they canceled Victory. Like, I wanted Mahoka Coca to be in Waste, but they can't, so they're playing in level. Don't get, don't play level Neo. It's so complicated, apparently. I haven't seen it, but yeah. I've, but I've heard it's I'm, just like Vanguard. Oh, really? Well, I don't know yet. So I'm probably most excited to see the Legion for Kagero. That's what I really want to see. And then maybe Hello? Mystic Orc. Hi. Hey, what's up? Are you on- oh, okay. I thought you were on a call or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so. Probably Kagura. From... What? <laughs> wait, wait, which kickback? He's not on the phone, you guys. Oh, no, I'm just okay. asking. What? 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 <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I'm, wait, I'm really it? confused right now. He's on the telephone. Okay. Yeah. So let's just go to the other one then. All right, for sure. Um, I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck in this uh, video thing. So I'm gonna oh, like I'll let you. Yeah, dude, it started late, so we're getting done late. Honestly, like I may dip out early in the video. Wait, he makes it, <laughs> Jesus. Because it's I literally took off my headset, picked up this phone, and is talking, and they're still talking. Oh God, we can he hear you. I hope we hope we can hear that. I'll, I'll hit you up when I'm done. Uh, okay, you guys, let's pretend that we didn't hear a thing that yeah, okay. said. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, so uh, set 17, you know, Kagero, and uh, just getting, pretty much seeing the art from Mahoka Hoko and then Golden Time. Yeah. Uh, Nisekoi, pretty much it. Matt, are you there? Yeah, sorry, I had to pick up uh, my phone. Someone had called me. Oh, that's okay. We, you know, we just completely heard the whole thing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We were wondering what the kickback was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. he, I, I got called up by my friend to figure out if we're going to the club or to a kickback. So, turns out we're going to go to the kickback instead. Yeah, well, know you know, we're, so, we're sorry for dragging you into this and that you have to stay here and that we're keeping you here. Yeah, you, no, you, don't, want to be, you don't want to be stuck here, you know? Yeah. I love how this got turned against me. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, guys, wow. 
It's not our fault. You you answered the phone and you were reco- you didn't mute yourself. If you had muted yourself, it would have been okay. Well, I I call false advertising because this mic is supposed to counter like supposed to uh, filter out all outside noise. It, no, we didn't hear anybody but your voice. Yeah. That's fucking bullshit. Because it was because so, I literally put the mic where it wouldn't pick up any of my noise. Well, well when, when we upload the well, when Tony uploads the video, you'll see. You'll have to watch yeah. like what an hour oh. and five minutes in though. Well, like three minutes in, but yeah, you'll see it. No, it's the thing is like you answered so perfectly. Like I was like hi, and you're like hey. It's like yeah. Is, is, yeah. I'm like, are you on the video? Are you like in the thing? Are you talking on the phone? You're like no, I, I'm in here. <laughs> like what? Yeah. And then you start all- talking about kickback. <laughs> And it's, we're like, oh, uh, uh, it, it was just like, oh, it was so confusing. You, you have to, if you see it, you'll understand completely what we're talking about. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, so going back to what we were talking about, Agent, what are you looking forward to? Uh, yeah, like 10 minutes yeah. to go. Let's go. Okay, I'm, in Weiss, I'm looking forward to Kill a Kill in September. I'm also not looking forward to it because I'm going to spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> and for, Okay, use those U.S. contacts, you know. The, the U.S. contact doesn't work for Weiss. And why is this expensive in Canada? Like ninety dollars a box. But, oh, that's where my contacts come into handy. So Kill Kill got huge hype in AX, if you know what that is. Yeah, I know what AX is. My friends were at AX uh, for the entire weekend, actually. But and you didn't go. I can't afford that. I need my SPs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, for Vanguard, I'm excited. Not, I'm kind of excited for BT14. I only really care about Eradicators. For Ignition Dragon, Lawrence Force, and other cards. For, oh, okay. That's about it. And for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Shadow. I'm for Duelist Advent. Yes, for Shadows. Shadows oh, are Shadows. a good deck. Midrash is a bitch of a card to get over. And I'm excited that Goyo's back. I'm surprised I took it off the list because Goyo has been banned for a long time. I'm surprised yet not surprised. I mean, it is card me. They just want to get more stuff off the list, pretty much. Yeah. That's what they want to do. They, they freed Goyo, hashtag free Goyo, now they need to hashtag free Stratos. Uh, yeah, that's, that's weird. That's, Stratos, that's weird. Stratos is fine where it is right now. He doesn't need to come back, because they have Shadow Mist, and the deck is good with the Volvo Chain. No, 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 no. He doesn't need to come back. We want him to come back. Well, I mean... Brio doesn't need to come back, but Mermail's going to mind if he came back. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, yeah. O- the, o- the OCG has one Stratos, one Bubble Man, which is perfectly balanced. I'm just saying. Um, it's it's nice to have. I don't mind that he's stuck in the band list. He doesn't need to come back. I'm just saying. It, it, it's one of those like like troll posts everyone's been saying. Hashtag free Stratos. It's, it's nice to have him. But yeah, Those are the only things I'm really excited for. Uh, actually, right. Buddy Fight set three. I need stuff from that, too. What is that? Is that Drums Adventures? Uh, Drums yeah. Adventures. There's a new card that comes out. It's called Jackknife Base Stand. Uh, oh my god. Oh, Base Stand. I love that card. When it's called to the field, you get a shield back to hand. Okay, so that, yeah, if you saw the new episode of Buddy Fight, that's in the last like 10 seconds of it Just, to talk about. Like, you'll grab a, a blue dragon shield or a green dragon shield. It doesn't matter. You get a shield back to hand. It's amazing. Man, I'm not going to grab any of those shields. I'm going to grab the white one, you know? I'm all about that racism. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that, 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 was, all just that, was, that was going too far. That was going a little bit too far, guys. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, that well, was clearly it wasn't going far. too far when I picked up the phone. Um, yeah, no, because... That, that was pure humor. <laughs> that was humor. Because we didn't hear the first thing. We only hear the first thing. No, you, guys, you, know, you know what? To make it look like I was a bigger dick, you guys probably should have shut up so that I could have just, like, full max volume. We did. We yeah. did. We did stop for a bit to just hear you. No, oh, because we were confused, though, at the beginning. Yeah. We were like, Because uh, we yeah. thought you were still talking to us, but you weren't, because you went in little blippets. It was perfect response time, though. Yeah, it was. Perfect. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Scruffy, unless if you already, already answered, I don't know if it was Matt or Scruffy who did answer. Um, or was, as far it was as Scruffy, the, I already answered. As far as stuff that we were excited about? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't answer because I asked the question. Um, oh, well, answer your own question, then. Well, jeez, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see, as as far as uh, stuff that's coming out that I'm really excited for, for Weiss, I'm really excited about Nisekoi. Um, 
I think that the trial deck was amazing just because of the level two Chitoge that could bounce for climax combos. You could bounce two. So you just drop two of those on the field and then play the climax combo and bounce four. And hashtag team Chitoke. Hashtag no, team. no, bro. I'm sorry. It's hashtag team Onodera. Okay, you know what? No second season, no life, okay? Well, oh, you know what? Shit, shots fired. <laughs> yeah, shots seriously fired. I will fight you, man. Um, hey, come to Canada. Come to Canada. I'll go to Toronto just so that it's closer and then AJ can back me up. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams. Oh. oh, see, there we go. It's okay. Toronto's, <laughs> a, Toronto's a big city. If you try to find somebody in the GTA, you're having a tough time. I've already, I've been to Toronto like 20, like, I don't know, like 30 times already. Oh, okay. Then uh, you probably know it well enough. Let's see. Water but you don't know what local um, I go to, so... Stuff for, oh. uh... Tell me that later. Stuff for Vanguard that I'm excited for. Uh, I'm excited for the... Oh my gosh, this is that. Oh, okay, it's recording now. Okay, let's go back. Okay, guys, so... Yeah, Scruffy, continue what you're saying. Yeah, we're sorry. Tony doesn't know how to work video recording yeah. software. Doesn't matter. I'm going to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. As, as far as, um... As far as that, I'm excited for about Vanguard, uh, I'm excited about the new Liberators, and the only reason why I'm excited for those is because when they first came out uh, with Blaster Blade and everything else, I thought it was really exciting because I fell in love with Gold Paladins and what they did, um, even though Matt will argue that uh, Musketeers do what Gold Paladins do, but better. You're the um, one that said that. Shut up. It no one else has Never to know this. Up. Uh, you just said it in front of about a few hundred subscribers. Just there. what? No. You guys didn't hear that? Plug your ears up at that moment. We will put it down in the comment section below. Um, I mean in the description. That too. <laughs> uh, You're just all over the place, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. You have to think. I've been up for a long time. Um, so have I. Shut up. Uh, anyway... Uh, yeah, so Liberators, I was really excited because they were like the Royal Paladins that I loved that came back through Gold Paladins and still did what Gold Paladins had to do. So I was really excited for that. But then, uh, you know, Matt, I let Greg use those, and it was like this big thing. So uh, we don't have to talk about that. We do not have to talk about that. That's, a, that's something else. We Let's skip over that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Go to the point. It's uh, I I just enjoy it because it's something new. It's it's new artwork. It's a it's a new character. It's just new paladins in general. So okay. I was really excited about that. Um, buddy fight. Uh, I think Dungeon World's kind of cool. I'd like to use that. I really want to see what the those knights in the opening for buddy fight are. There's like some knights that appear in the opening, and I really, I think they're Legend World, but I don't know. I, yeah, nobody, nobody watches the opening. Well, we all the, the beginning of the. Hey, Tony. Some people do watch the opening, so I'm um, explaining. Yeah, let, me, let me make a sentence here. Uh, Agent, do you do you watch the opening? I don't even watch the anime. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh! You, you can't ask him! Cue the regular show. Oh! Shut up, Matt. Nobody You know what? It. I will. Agent, for, for any... For, like, have you have you seen Vanguard at least? Do you, did you skip the, the beginning after you've seen it once? If the opening is good, I'll watch it. Yeah, like, see? Like, for... Uh, for uh, which one was it? Season... I forget the, uh, no, I forget the song name, but it was a. Uh, take it to us, take it to us, baby. Vanguard, fight, fight away. Oh, yeah. the, oh. I like season three. I like the season three opening. I like the break your spell, Vanguard. That's, one, that's the one I like. Break your spell. That is a yes. good song. It, it is. I, was, I will agree to that. However, the reason why I'm saying that the new opening for Buddy Fight is better because the original one. It was just, like, so linear. It was very stupid-looking. But okay. now like it's it. more Vanguard-esque because it shows, like, different worlds and different, you know, creatures, and it, it's more animated-looking. Okay. So, okay. uh... Okay. But, yeah, that's that's about okay. it. Since you, were here at the, you weren't here at the beginning, there is, just to confirm, 
There is an episode where a guy has a crotch charger, right? Yes, there is indeed an episode where a guy has a crotch, uh, crotch, what is it, uh, a charger core thing. gadget debt case yes. thing. Agent, you have to watch that episode. You have to figure out which episode it's on and see that, just for the laugh of it. Is he not come just compensating for something? Oh, damn. That he needs it for the strip club. <laughs> he's, got okay, the, okay. he's got the crotch core gadget to hold his big dick in. Oh, okay, that's a little too far. No, no, the, if you've seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged of the, what's it, the Society of Doom or something, he's like, we're gonna get his dick, and we're gonna tear it to pieces. Oh, Kaba. The, the okay. darts abridged is hilarious. Oh, okay, I see. Like, yeah. he, well, he, when he says deck, it sounds like dick. Okay. So he's so, yeah. his, he has his deck in his deck case. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it for this uh, podcast. It's quite long, actually. It's me, like, yeah. now we're 14. You can always cut out the boring stuff. Yeah, yeah just cut out uh, Matthew, right? Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> can always, you can always cut out me when I make that phone call. <laughs> no, no, that's I that's think we need to keep that in. That's pretty funny. <laughs> We just need to cut everything else out other than that phone call. Forget all the <laughs> stuff, just, just the phone call. I will label this. Where's the kickback? I will label this. Where's the kickback? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh, and we've got the Tony from Team Divine Pro, and I am joined today with Scruffy. Also from Team Divine Pro. Okay. Uh, Matt? Also from Team Divine Pro. You guys really didn't have to say that. You could have just said... Sayonara, see you later, whatever. No, but and, you know. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't you know. know. I'm, not, I'm not even. I don't even <laughs> well, know okay, anymore. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. If okay. you're gonna yeah, edit don't... stuff out, we can redo that then. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's okay. One, one time. And we have been joined with a special guest, agent from, from Team No Guard. From Team No Guard. <laughs> what? You expected something better? <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. The, the fact that you just did what we just did and. <laughs> Yeah. And well, I mean, I, I can say that SPs are sexy and words are hard, which are our catchphrases. Yes, I, can do I am. Up, but... Okay, we can say that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. We'll, we'll just end like that with a funny little thing. Whatever you guys want to say, you say it. And uh, until next time, see you guys later, and we will hopefully get Kardo Taku Desu on the next episode. No promises, though, but most likely next week. SPs are sexy. Later. Well, don't, like, advertise it and then be like, oh, no, maybe. Oh, no, we can't get him on. Oh, you know what? He's gonna see oh, the no, video. Oh no, I totally have to leave early, bro. Oh, I'm so okay. sorry. <laughs> you guys have heard of being like passive aggressive. Tony is being aggressive passive. Like we're gonna get Cardo Taku. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's a strong yes. It's just that this time he had issues. Okay. Well, what if it's not. Time he has issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I lied. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Cardo Taku, you have Stop heard making me feel bad. Okay, you see this? Matt, all your hate has been pushed towards me now. Yeah. And then this- <laughs> Cardo Taku, you have heard it here first. Tony says that you have issues. Ooh, Just putting no. it out there. Okay, this has been in the wrong context. I guess... Cardo Taku yeah. Wars. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's make it a thing. Is there anything else you guys want to say before I end this or no? Uh, Stay beautiful, people. SPs are sexy. <laughs> and yes, I am. Where's that kickback? <laughs> it's nearby. Is it? Is it really? Surprisingly, yeah. It's near. It's within the neighborhood, so I don't have to go that far.